Good morning, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. Today's video is a follow-up to yesterday's in which I discussed living in the sandwich generation and caring for elderly parents. I mentioned the collection of socks I had knitted for my dad over the years in that video, and today I wanted to show them to you. Several of the pairs have worn out, but these are the ones that are still in good condition. A lot of the pairs are wool, but several, like these two pairs here, are a blend of wool and mohair. My dad loved to wear socks with Birkenstocks, so he asked for stripes and bright patterns that would show with his sandals. I prefer to knit with all natural fibers, something that can be returned to the earth when it is at the end of its life. These socks here are a wool mohair blend. You can see they felt it a little bit as my dad has hand washed them, probably on water that was a little bit too hot, but they still fit and they're nice and warm and snuggly. A lot of my sock patterns include ribbing, which is a combination of knit and purl stitches that add natural elasticity to a sock. My dad was in the Air Force for 30 years and had to wear a plain, boring uniform to work, and so he always requested really bright color combinations for the socks that he could wear on the weekend. These are pretty whimsical. I used up scraps from other knitting projects and then this vibrant green and mustard yellow. As I said in my last video, it's been very bittersweet to go through the possessions that my dad can no longer wear or use and decide what to do with them. These socks are all being distributed amongst my kids. They actually fit my daughters and my eldest son, and my kids have been wearing them quite a bit. Here you can see a pair I made just a couple of years ago. This is 100% alpaca. It looks like my dad might have washed it. Again, a little too hot, but my daughter has been wearing these and really enjoying them. Here you can see the slip stitch reinforced heel and the star toe construction. This is the pair I made him last year for Christmas. It's 100% Irish wool. It's in lovely green tweed. I got it at our local used bookstore that has a nice yarn section. It's hard to look through these socks that I made lovingly for my dad and know that he will not wear them again, but there are so many memories connected with them. Not only times that I saw him wearing them, but also where I was at the stage of my life when I knitted them. This is a pair of socks I made when I was pregnant with my third child, who is now 14. They are made of a German wool. You can see here, I have darned them for my father. The heels and the toes have been darned multiple times. I very much prefer a slip stitch heel pattern as it reinforces and thickens the heel and reduces darning on the back. The bottom, however, still gets quite a bit of wear and tear, and I'm glad that I learned how to darn because socks that otherwise would wear out get a whole new lease on life after a 15 minute repair. Here you can see the toe where I've darned it. If you watch my channel very much, you'll know that I'm a big fan of visible mending. I love when we can see the history of a garment or other material object, when we can see evidence that it's been used and cared for and repaired and kept in service. That makes it so much more interesting to me. This is one of the first pairs of socks I knitted for my dad. I think on ones or twos, they're very thin. And my dad let me know after I gave them to him that he would prefer socks that were thicker. And so I started making socks on fours and fives with a little bit heavier yarn, and that was exactly what he wanted. For me, knitting for loved ones is something that enables me to express my creativity, to create something beautiful for somebody that I care about, but also something that is highly functional and they can use in the context of their daily lives. This is a pair of 100% wool that I knitted with thrift store yarn. I really love the pattern. I'm often trying to challenge myself to make socks that are whimsical because that's what my dad likes and also to use up scrap bits of yarn that I get at the thrift store so that my projects are frugal, they are ecological because they can be composted at the end and they are something that somebody I care for can actually use and enjoy.
If you are somebody like me who is at a stage of your life where you are going through your parents or your grandparents' things, where you are dealing with the complex slew of emotions that come up at this time, all of those feelings, the anticipatory grief, the sadness, the happy memories, be gentle with yourself. Give yourself time to process what you're feeling because it is an awful lot. There's so much more that is happening rather than just sorting material objects. There's so much meaning. Perhaps the feelings that you experience are unanticipated and you've got to be slow and gentle with yourself in this process. You can see here another example of a star toe. I think because of the way the bishop feet are shaped, this style of toe decrease works best for us. I don't really enjoy the wedge-shaped toe with a Kitchener stitch at the end. I really like that spiral of a star toe, and so whatever a pattern says, I tend to alter the way the toe is constructed so that it fits my feet, or in this case my dad's feet, or in the future my kid's feet best. This is one of my favorite pairs of socks I ever knitted for my dad. When we lived on the central Oregon coast outside of Newport, Oregon, I made them at our Yaquina Fiber Arts Guild meetings. I loved those meetings. I think I was quite a bit younger than everybody else. Most of the ladies were older and retired, and they were such wonderful mentors for me, teaching me all kinds of skills, including the first place I learned how to spin on a drop spindle and spin on a spinning wheel. These socks have also been darned multiple times. They were a favorite of my dad's as well. I really love the simple flying goose design and the fact that the gray heathered yarn was spun by a woman in the Fiber Arts Guild. Just a lot of positive memories attached to constructing these socks and to my dad wearing them. Thanks for coming along with me today as I sorted through the remaining socks from more than 20 years worth of knitting for my father. I hope that my children will enjoy wearing them as well and think fondly of their grandpa and also of their mom who knitted them. For me, when I think about sustainable living, I think more and more, not only about the world around me, but also in my own heart, in my own motivation, in my own journey through life. And I hope that you can find ways to make your journey sustainable and joyful as well. Thanks for watching this bonus House Frau Friday video today. I will be back very soon from my permaculture garden here in Portland, Oregon. I hope that you all have a restful and peaceful and happy new year.